We are here with Erica, the founder of Divas Leading. She's doing a wonderful project with the community. So tell us a little bit about yourself and how you changed our community. We have been community based. It's all about giving back to the families, to our community. I think that anti bullying is just one of our events. This is the first time we do it and it's been a success. It's something about being a woman, being a mom, being a friend, having, being a mentor. We are a mentor to our children and giving back is what we can. We are here to motivate, to inspire, and to communicate and to network because basically that's the name of the game. And thank you for doing that for our community. So, what do you get inspired about bullying? What inspires you to do this? Well, I have a teenage daughter who basically she wears glasses, so I know that she could be a target. But raising her, I've raised her to be a leader, which that has sometimes could be a threat to other students. So it's my job to protect her. I work for the Department of Education as well, and I hear about the horror stories, the horrified stories here in the Washington Heights community. Children have committed suicide because of bullying, and we as parents need to educate ourselves, especially with cyberbullying. That's very, very important because we need to know what LOL means, what, you know, laughing out loud, rolling on the floor, all these little acronyms that our children are using. I think that that's what motivates me more in order to communicate and bring it out with the community. Our, my advice to the community is that we are special. Here in Washington Heights, Inville, we are bilingual. And being bilingual, la cultura dominicana, la cultura latina, es una cosa increíble. Somos bilingües y hay una cosa que pueden intimidar a mucha gente. So cojanlo como algo especial que tenemos para brindarlo al público. Nos encontramos esta noche con Nelsi, parte de esta gran organización Divas Lini Inc. Y esta noche estamos apoyando una gran causa. Cuéntanos un poco cómo llegaste a ser parte de esto. Hoy estamos aquí eh, trayendo la información a los padres sobre el bullying, que es un gran problema ahora mismo. Y entonces eh, nos no encanta hacer estos eventos a donde los niños disfrutan y al mismo tiempo eh, también cogen la información y, y aprenden. De, de, lo que estamos, de lo que estamos tratando de enseñarle hoy. ¿Y, y cómo, cómo crees que uno debe hacer un cambio para parar esto? Bullying, well, you know, comenzamos uno a uno. Ahora, si han entrado 20 muchachitos aquí, o 5 o 2, no importa, eh, uno a uno podemos toditos juntos. So, you know, eh, educando a los niños, porque eh, todo viene de la casa, educando a los adultos, educando a, a you know, their parents. Um, everything is about educating. Uh, I was bullied. I am still bullied. Como una persona que, eh, que estoy en la televisión, toda la mañana me levanto y algo, alguien tiene algo que decir negativo de mí. En social media, eh, on, the, on the websites and stuff. Um, so I get bullied too, so I know how it feels. So I can only imagine what it feels like to be a child going to school and being scared to go to school. So, you know, educating one by one, um, we all can. So, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. So I'm hoping that after this, you know, we continue to do this every year and just educate more and more children on how, you know, not to bully, not to be bullied, not to contribute to the bullying in schools. What advice would you give to those who are bullying right now? To those that are being bullied, to speak up, to speak to your parents. If you feel like you can't speak to your parents, speak to your friends about it. Speak to your best friends. Speak to your teachers. Uh, don't allow that to, to silence you. It's okay to speak up and stand up for yourself. Um, you know, you have to do it. Uh, just, you know, communicate. Gracias por estar con nosotros y apoyar estas causas tan lindas. Gracias. Gracias.